guys, Eric here, Nomadic Fanatic, and today I'm going to show you how I wash my clothes here in the RV without any washing machine or power hookups. Basically what you need is a handful of dirty clothes, laundry detergent, and the laundry detergent I use is called Ecos Free and Clear, and it is a non-toxic, environmentally friendly detergent that is uh, manufactured locally from my hometown, Olympia, Washington, and um, it's, it does not harm the earth, so it's okay to pour your rinse water outside. You need a five gallon bucket, and most importantly, you need this doohickey here. This is called the Mobile Breathing Washer. These are on eBay going for about $30. It comes shipped, let's just take it apart. It comes shipped in four pieces. You get this standard stick that has a standard thread size at the end. It's got this top piece right here. It's got this piece. And then it's got this piece. So it stores really easily well and it's put together really easily also. Hi Jax. Once it's put together, you can kind of see the construction. There's air pockets in here that allow for the air to go in here and then pour out here. And air gets trapped in here. I don't really understand the science of it. All that I know is that the pressure going down into the clothes is creating a sponge and draw effect. And once I get water in the bucket, you'll actually see, you know, the suds and uh, working and cleaning the clothes, pulling dirt out, and you'll hear it making its, its noise. Generally speaking, when I do laundry, I like to uh, wait until I have a free source of water because obviously in an RV, I only have a 40 gallon freshwater tank and then I do have three additional seven gallon uh, tanks of water that... But I'm out here in California right now, water scarce. I do not want to be wasting my drinking water on washing machine water. So I'm at a place right now where I have unlimited water source. That's the best time to do it. I also have a, an extra DC utility pump with hoses so that if I get near a lake, or another source of uh, fresh clean water, I can pump that water from the lake up into my RV and use that. So, first thing you want to do is fill your bucket about half full of water. Alright, the next step you're going to want to do is put in your detergent. Make sure you have a kitty nearby to help you. And what I like to do at this point is kind of stir up some of that soapy water, so I'm just going to use my mobile plunger and I'm just going to kind of stir it. Hear that noise it's making? That's why they call it the mobile breathing washer. Hey, okay, once it gets all soap, start throwing in some shirts. Two. Three, push those ones down. Okay. Do four. See how much suds are already going on in here? Basically the mobile washer is pushing down the clothes and then forcing it back up through these gills right here. Basically, I like to do this for about eight minutes. You can already see, kind of, the water is already starting to get dirty, which is a good sign. You can do this indoors, outdoors, right by the lake, anywhere you want. Once your washing cycle is done, I just pull out the shirts and wring them out. Get all the soapy water off of them. Okay. 
then dump your soapy water. Put your wash shirts back in there and add some rinse water and do the cycle for about five more minutes. Your rinse cycle doesn't really need to be that long. You just want it one last chance to get all the last remaining soap suds out of your throws. And if you were just going to do another load right after this load, take the clothes out, add some soap to this existing water, and start your second load. There you can see my clothes are pretty much nicely rinsed. Just wring them out again. Now for drying, ultimately you're in a place that's sunny outside where you can just hang your clothes to dry outside on a clothesline or they even make additional ladder racks that you can put on the back of your motorhome where you climb up that hold additional more clothes. I don't always have that option because then a lot of times I'm on the road or it's just rainy outside and not nice, but I have this drying rack that folds away. It's really thin so it goes into storage really well. These are still sold at Walmart for about 10 bucks. It expands out. Then it locks into place. And this drying rack, this huge drying rack, actually fits inside my Arby's bathtub. And it's just a matter of hanging my clothes. Awesome. See how easy that was? That's how I wash clothes here in the RV. Again, I should also probably mention that before I had this setup, um, sometimes I would go to the laundromat and spit out nine, nine to twelve dollars for a couple loads of laundry. But I can't always get to a laundromat. I ended up uh, last uh, spring. I actually bought a um, AC tiny mobile washing machine that needed power to be run, and uh, this thing just works a lot better. It's naturally environmentally friendly. It easily stores because, like I said, everything comes apart and will go in the cupboard. And I don't know, I don't have anything better than to do than just manually plunge my, my dirty clothes. And it actually feels rewarding like I'm, you know, I don't know, just keeps me more honest. Um, again, I don't want to give any specific details about where this is sold at or what site or link or anything like that because it changes all the time. And, you know, this, this video may be years old when you're watching it. But basically just go to eBay and uh, do a search for mobile breathing washer and yeah enjoy it i love it jex you want to see if it works on kitties too you, you, you want to try that yeah bye guys hey it's eric along with Jax. thanks for watching our videos don't forget to subscribe so you can get the latest updates and feel free to check out some of my other videos thanks for watching see you next time